Some of the best uses for the concrete is work surfaces. And let's face it, every kitchen needs more of those. So we're going to show you how to build a really simple freestanding kitchen island. And even if you're a rookie, it's easier than it seems. So the first thing you've got to do is make a frame for your concrete top. So we're making a one metre by a half metre top. So just mark out your frame to suit. You need to attach the ends and sides to the base. Effectively, you're creating a simple mould. So using silicon, go around the joins and the ends. This gives it a really smooth finish on the tabletop. Now here's the exciting part. It's time to mix the concrete. Now we could use a wheelbarrow, but the builder's bucket is another option for you. Make sure you get a drop sheet down also, because it can get messy and you don't want to get in trouble with the misses. When the concrete's at the right consistency, put it into the mould and press down as you go. Put your reinforcing rod in at the halfway point and then fill in the rest. Now you want to smooth out the concrete so it's nice and even. Always tap the side with a hammer to remove the air bubbles. The more you do it, the better the finish. Now leave it to set. For the frame we're using Remu, but you can pretty much use what you like. Cut your timber to the right size, lay it out, and screw it together as you go. Then build the top frame and attach the legs. Once that's done, build your base tray. Now attach the base tray. Use two pieces of scrap wood to get an even height. Attach the trim to the top of the frame and nicely cover all the screws. So once the concrete's nice and set, pop it out from the mould. Gently put the top into position after putting glue onto the top of the frame. To finish it off, I think that the chopping board is a perfect contrast on the concrete. The monochrome tea towels and the copper just makes it really fun. I love it. For more details, visit rayov.co.nz slash giantdemo.